bird flu is confirmed in our region, and while it's not a threat to humans, it's already had a big impact for one local farm. Isabel Garcia spoke with the farm owner. Isabel, what did you learn? Well, Teresa, Bob Marsala runs a family farm with his wife out in Hilton. After discovering dead birds kept increasing, he tells me the state and USDA ended up euthanizing his entire flock, even if they tested negative, because it's that contagious. So it started the, the weekend before on uh, Friday evening. I went out and I noticed I had six dead chickens. I thought something had attacked them. Marsala family farm owner Bob Marsala tells News 8 he put the rest of his flock in a pen that night. But by the time he woke up the next morning, there were seven more dead chickens. That problem persisted. Uh, when I got up Sunday morning, there's 40 dead birds. And uh, then I kind of realized that something bigger was going on here and uh, tried to notify someone uh, in the state and finally got through Monday morning. Bob goes on to say someone came out from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to test the flock by Monday afternoon. At that point, 90 birds had died and one goose. We were notified on Tuesday late, late afternoon, evening that our flock had tested positive uh, for avian influenza. The type ours tested positive for was HPAI, which is a highly pathogenic version, as opposed to LPAI, which isn't nearly as deadly to birds. While most of his chickens had died at that point, the remaining fowl on the farm had to be put down. Yes, so because it's such a deadly virus, uh, I did try to argue it, uh, but the federal and state decided that the only choice was euthanization of the rest of the flock to prevent the spread through the community because it is a public health risk. We were involved in assessing the risk to human health, and so we were in co contact with that individual, and that individual took all the necessary precautions and then some to keep him and his family safe. Um, but in general, the risk to the public is exceedingly low. And the farm is now under quarantine, and they can't have birds for 150 days. And the timing of this ordeal, Bob tells me, is unfortunate, as the spring is when the chickens would be laying eggs. They do still plan to sell garlic and cut flowers this season, but we'll have to start over in the fall for their chickens. Isabel Garcia, News 8. Thank you, Isabel. Bob says he initially tried to cover his run to protect the rest of the flock. One of the first things a farmer should do if they see a sick chicken. We're also told the farming community in the area has been incredibly supportive.